Let me tell you something, brother. When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside, what do you do? I'll tell you what you do. You gotta take a stand. It don't help to hide. You see? They hurt my friends. And they hurt my pride. I gotta be a man. I cannot let it slide. I am a real American! With a lightsaber. And I will fight for the rights of every man! And I will fight for what's right, fight for your life, and I will fight for the right of a mail call from Phoenix Artisan Akutramans. Slice of July. Well, that was something. I like to have fun. And I hope that was fun for all you Hulkamaniacs out there. Let's get into this. So I received this from Doug, Fran, and Hux at Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I did not pay for it. It was sent to me for review. Thank you once again, PAA crew. Space of July, the top notes. Hickory wood. I have some hickory wood chips here. Talk about that in a second. Barbecue spices. I have behind me my favorite charcoal briquette, Kingsford. Actually made here in my hometown of Springfield, Oregon. Smoke, char, and cedar. Fireworks will not be released this 4th of July. Instead, Space of July is being released. If you saw my Tea Party 508 review, you, oh gosh, I love this label. You likely saw my question. So far, the yays are winning. And so I will whip this up here today on camera. There's the label. I'll sniff that in just a second. That label is freaking awesome. He's barbecuing bacon. No, is that, is that bacon? Kind of looks like bacon. I like how Doug, well, not with all the labels, but with a good portion of the labels that he's released in the last year or so. He has these people wearing 3D glasses. And that's some kind of nod to like our culture is what it is. I don't know exactly, but there's definitely an underlying meaning there or significance. I love how his stuff comes in boxes. Boom. I'm so excited, like truly, genuinely, to put my nose on this. Whenever Doug and Fran come up with a, I don't want to say novelty, but lack of a better word, I'm going to use it. When they come up with a, look at that one, that one came off nice and clean. Novelty fragrance. I'm always excited to get my nose on it. And with almost all of them, I have fallen in love with. Uh, off the top of my head, I can only think of one that I'm not crazy about. I enjoy it. I just don't know of any places to wear it. And I talked about that in Tea Party 508, and I've talked about it before, and that's Rabid Banana. But, you know, a lot of guys love it. I'm going to put it on the back of my arm. I have Tea Party 508 here and um, Fireworks here. I am expecting a lot from this fragrance. I really am. And so, while well, I give the alcohol a second. So, truth be told, with fireworks, the first, oh gosh, I can smell it from here. The first 30 seconds or so, maybe a couple of minutes, I'm not particularly crazy about the first initial top notes from fireworks. But once you get into the middle of that, and then the fragrance you know, lasts a good six, eight hours, it is so freaking wonderful and addictive. This has been on here for a couple of hours now. It's just a pleasant, spent firework smell. Like when you pick up an old firework off the ground, it's been laying there for a few minutes. How's my voice? I feel like I've kind of lost my voice. It's been a long time since I brought out the inner Hulkamaniac. Let's put my nose on this. 
Ooh. Hickory char. Oh, guys. That's nice. <laughs> hickory wood barbecue spices. So hickory wood barbecue spices. Smoke, char, and cedar. I am one of the people who barbecue all year round. Um, you can't let bad weather deter you um, in the Pacific Northwest from doing anything. Otherwise, there's a lot of things you won't get to do very often. Oh, off the tub. More of the cedar. A faint smokiness going on. Definitely picking up the char. This is a, a masculine fragrance, no doubt about that. Just like um, fireworks. Guys, this is good. This is something I'd wear to, you know, a, like a fancy evening. No. Is this some, something I'd wear all summer long? Absolutely. In um, Doug's sales page, he, he has the best sales pages in the business. In Doug's sales page, he talks about things from his summer memory bank, if you will. Um, that scoop's going to be way too big, but that's okay. We're going to get lots of beautiful lather. Some of the things that he mentioned were freezer pops. So like an Otter Pop has what one of the major brands. Capri Sun, Tab, Pepsi, Nerds, Volleyball, Horse Shoes, Chlorine, Friends, and Barbecue. I've always had a saying about the five B's of summer, like the letter B, right? Baseball, beaches, barbecue, beer, and bikinis. I'm using one of my other um, Crown King Scuttles. This was the second one that was released. The one that I used yesterday uh, for my Tea Party 508 was the first one they ever made. So for me, I was thinking about it. Um, I have a brush. I was thinking about it. I'm going to drip a little bit of water out of my bougie here into the bottom of the scuttle. Let me just go some more. The brush is dry. This is the StarCraft with a 24 millimeter Roswell gray knot. For me, the river and lake and baseball, like I just said, and that's not just like watching baseball or going to baseball games, although we have a a triple A team, you know, and uh, the Oregon Ducks play softball and baseball. So there's, you know, there's baseball that we definitely are spectators of, but I grew up playing baseball all through high school. Um, both of my boys play baseball, our oldest uh, play baseball in college. My wife has plays played base softball. Our daughter softball. She's now just a soccer kid, but so baseball is a big part of our summers. Oh, definitely getting more of the char and the the woodiness from it, the cedar. I think even the hickory. Um, hickory is a strong woody a strong woodsy smell and almost like smoky uh i use a lot of hickory chips when i barbecue um i almost always also have a bag of apple cherry and mesquite one of the things i really like about hickory is it's versatile as to where like mesquite i'll tend to use it mostly on uh, red meats hickory for me in the way that i barbecue whether it's baby back ribs or pork ribs or chicken even steak, hickory is a versatile smoke. So baseball is a huge, huge part of our summer here, but so are the rivers, the lakes, and camping, and you know, backpacking. Always been a huge outdoor backpacker. That's um, only thing with these white scuttles is it's hard to see the soap. One of my other favorite things, so I was thinking about this and talking with my, my wife. Another one of my favorite 
being frank, right? Okay. I am a real American. How can you think of summer without thinking of sun dresses? Now, I don't have any sun dresses that I wear, right? But it goes along with my five Bs of summer. My wife is wearing one today, and that's one of the things that made me think of it. For me, one of the most attractive things a woman could wear. In fact, you know, I think I'd rather see a woman, a beautiful woman like my wife, in a beautiful sundress as opposed to a bikini. I mean, the bikini is nice, but something about a sun, a sundress. Ice cream, blueberries and blackberries. Log walking. I've, we've taught our kids, you know, we go out in the woods a lot, taught our kids how to walk logs across rivers and just all kinds of fun stuff. Um, funny story. I have to share sometimes about where my wife, the only injury that we've ever had was when my wife slipped off of a log that was only a few feet off the ground. She actually got impaled by, you know how like when logs hit the ground, the branches um, break off and then you just have like little nubs that stick out of the branch and she actually fell and she was wearing blue jeans and she fell and she landed on it just right that it actually punctured her and like went into the back of her upper thigh just below her buttocks like maybe a couple inches below her buttocks and we actually drove down from the mountain and took her to the ER she got some stitches and she insisted on going back up and finishing her camping trip <laughs> This is a beautiful lather. CK6 is so fabulous. <sighs> Let me reset my... There's fireworks. I love it. Tea Party 508 is a banger, guys. <sighs> it smells like barbecue. It really does. It smells like a barbecue. Oh my god, it smells like a barbecue. Oh, it smells so good. I wonder if I can get my wife and daughter to come in here and give us their first impressions. Should I pause it real quick and ask them? Let's see if I can. One second. Well, it's not meant to be. She's out back playing with Luna and I don't want to bother her. So this on my hand, or my back of my arm right here, smells exactly like a barbecue. Think of an amazing barbecue, that beautiful barbecue smell that you pick up one stone. Hi, you want to smell? You're on camera. Mm -hmm. What's it smell like? Barbecue in the summer. Mm -hmm. Right? I love you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, that worked out. It was meant to be. I was wrong. It smells like a barbecue in the summer. That the soap um, is definitely more tame. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Did you guys get a good look at her? That sundress, right? Oh, good night, Irene. Beautiful, beautiful lather. This is definitely... <sighs> I get a little bit of the char. Oh, God, I love that sulfur smell from the fireworks. Tea Party 508 is just beautiful. It is a beautiful fragrance. <laughs> smells like, it smells like a barbecue. It, it smells like a barbecue. Oh, the soap. The soap is amazing. Woody smoky char. Very similar course to this, but just tamed way down. One of the reasons why I like to do the reviews the way that I do. So in a lot of ways, there's actually four stages to a fragrance. We have the top, we have the middle, and then we have the base. But then after the base is what's called the dry down. And it can take a couple of hours to get into that dry down at least you know in, in an hour with most fragrances you know the, the top will take a couple of minutes to 10 minutes tops in the middle you know from the time that you put it on 15 20 minutes and then the base you know can take 20 30 40 minutes to do its thing and then you get into what's known as the dry down and that is the fragrance that you're going to wear the rest of the day so top middle also known as the heart the base 
And then after you go through those three stages, you're left with the dry down. One of my problems with a lot of different even fragrance reviews if people just do it like if i was just to leave this video as it is right now i wouldn't be able to tell you what the base is like because i haven't been wearing it long enough to tell you what the base is like and i don't even know if we're into the middle yet because i just now discovered this fragrance right so i can't tell you exactly when the middle starts or when the middle ends for that matter and i sure as heck can't tell you anything about the dry down but I will spend the next three days doing exactly that shaving with it and exploring all four stages uh, of the fragrance top middle base dry down and again the dry down is the fragrance that we will carry with us throughout the day the three stages that we're all familiar with they come and they go and sometimes they come and they go as quickly you know as they arrived uh with some fragrances that they don't last long at all it all it all varies i well, thank you guys for joining me to all my hulkamaniacs out there i love you i love you a long time if you didn't get the reference at the beginning of the video you might be a little puzzled um for those who grew up in the 80s like i did i hope you enjoyed that i had fun doing it and uh the place that i'm going to do my review of this fragrance at i don't want to tell you um, but my hope is that I find a spot and it should be fairly easy. It's going to be hot, uh, that looks otherworldly, that looks like I've gone to space and arrived somewhere other than earth. And I'll leave it at that. And hopefully I am successful in my endeavor. And, uh, yeah, I'll have that up for you guys by the morning of the fourth sometime early on the fourth i want to have it up for you doug fran hux and the paa team thank you guys i appreciate you for those who don't know doug does have a small uh crew of people who uh package and you know work work the mail room if you will um, the distribution part of it whatever you want to call it i don't know exactly what they do but he does have some employees so even all of you all the PAA, all you, all you fine folks down there in Casa de Grand. My hat's off to you. It's the Little Big Things. <sighs> Barbecue is one of my favorite Little Big Things. <sighs> I prefer briquettes. I have a gas grill that I take with me uh, on trips. But when I'm here, home, I use charcoal. And goddamn, this smells like freaking barbecue. Well done, Douglas and Francis. Thanks, guys. Take care.